Hello and welcome to Sabotage in Eastport, Thief 2 fan mission by Intruder. It's another one for the 1 million units contest. Let's read the briefing. My alliance with Victoria has taken another surprising turn. I was about to prepare for the job at Angel Watch when Larkspur, one of her most trusted agents, paid me a visit late last night. Maybe he doesn't trust me. I can't blame him for that. Or he's running his own business. Either way, I'd better be careful. It turned out that he proposed a slight alteration to Victoria's plan. According to his spies, a new and deadly security system is on its way to Angel Watch and is scheduled to arrive there tomorrow, just one day before the Great Gala. This new device is currently stored in a workshop in Eastport, and Larkspur wants me to destroy the device of all documents related to this project. He definitely has a point. Taking this device out before it reaches Angel Watch makes my life easier once I'm there. Now it's time to take a deep breath and wish myself best of luck, since there's no time to prepare. Well, that's a nice uh, twist, a mission, you know, a kind of little insert, intrusion, one might say, uh, into the Thief 2 campaign. Let's work that much way this one's position. It's a sort of... Uh, it's a sort of setting you would do if... Um, you were doing a different campaign that was like the story of Thief 2, but a different behind the scenes with someone, some other protagonist, but uh, kind of like the uh, Half Life expansions, Blue Shift, and uh, whatever the, the other one was. So the only difference between I got things here is the loot goals and uh, hard and expert both have a don't kill anybody so my usual you know reasons for choosing hard are irrelevant I suppose but also again these are the small these are small missions um, that I don't have a long you know mission to do with to try and survive so maybe experts okay maybe not but there's mechanists and uh, maybe just the extra hit points on hard is, is is useful let's just go hard you received word from larkspur that the mechanists are working on something deadly in their workshop in eastport break into the building and start your investigations according to larkspur the mechanists are conducting research on improving their security systems try to gather as much information about the dataless project as you can Steal 750 loot to cover your expenses. You're a thief, not a murderer, so kill no humans. And return to the city gate when you're done with all your other tasks. We have a shop. We have a thousand gold. We have a job offer. Our local fence at Eastport is offering a small side job that might interest you. Cost 15 yes. Um, I should take some pets, but they're expensive. Smuggled into the city, a great expense by Victoria's agents. These items will burst suddenly when thrown and produce a frog beast who will ally with you. I mean, like, not that I need frog beasts as an offensive weapon, but, you know, the pets. Pet frog beasts. Uh, I'll see what else I want to spend money on. What do I start with? Four moss, four water, two rope, noisemaker, one flash bomb. Um... We're mechanists, so we've probably got some mechanist beasts. So a couple of water arrows is good. Another flash bomb is good. I can't buy any healing potions. Let's get one pet at least, and then what else? Mines are useful against mechanical beasts, but I'd rather water arrows. Could get another flash bomb. Or I could get another pet. I mean, I've got to not kill any humans, right? And I think, I think if I deploy a frog beast and it kills them, it counts against me. So I think I'll just go with the flash bomb. Um, scouting orb is connected connects to Garrett's mechanical eye using etheric vibrations when dropped or thrown, allowing him to see from its location. Use key leaves this view. That's interesting that, is that the, uh, I mean that might be the original text, I don't remember reading it, you know, in many years. 
Because uh, if I remember the code, the scouting orbits are actually hard coded to leave the view when you click either of the mouse buttons and it's not caring about the key map. I could, be, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it was done. Alright, I mean, the default use key is right mouse button, but. Alright, uh, let's begin. Who's the guy who started right in front of us? That is. Like, give me a fright, to be quite honest. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's pick a starting mission set. Well, this place is tall, I like. Nice. Well, I think I know where I'm, I think I know where I'm going first. I'm not even going out into the streets first. Let's begin up here. <sighs> He's still tall. Oh, nobody's tapping around down here, don't worry. Yeah, look at these people, like, always like the rugs are skew and it's like under one leg of the furniture. God, this decadence. Ugh, I hate creepy. <laughs> Another. I should have just avoided him, you know. I mean, I play my normal, slightly uh, Iron Man style, slightly ghost style. Stop it doing a restart. I think she went out there, didn't she? Can't you guy nap around here? Lady Valeria's mansion, okay. Must be where we are. It's nice for her to leave. Tag. Keys. Oh god, is, that, is she coming back just now? Oh, she came in a different door. Alright. Those are very quiet stairs. They have carpet. No, that wasn't carpet. That's that's. That seems like broom brushes that don't connect. Who's there? Did you say something? <clears throat> okay. Um. <laughs> I've got a key across. I should get my rope back. <laughs> ah, another copy of key. Oh, I see a uh, metal face. This is not a safe place for me to go out. I could have just grabbed the root, the bloody rope. <laughs> Don't know how that guard, what that guard saw. Well, I got myself in a pretty 
people now. I mean, I guess I can knock people out. I have no idea how we're gonna... What we're gonna sort of... That, that alerted him that made him come in here looking... Or hurt. Because he... I was standing in the darkness and I closed the door and he alerted at me closing the door is what it seemed like. Which would be really weird. I want an apple. Oh, I can take it. What I don't know is how I'm supposed to get back past <laughs> this. What's that? Hey, hey, is someone in here? Yeah, can't write it. This isn't how I'm going to supposed to get past her again, but. <laughs> Turn around. Who knows what it was? Who knows indeed. Sounds like someone's running. <laughs> oh, is this where she comes from? Well, this would be where she goes down, right? To that lower floor. Why would you leave a unlocked chest in the light? Looks like it's nothing. I'm feeling I've got somebody coming my way. Strange noises. Yes. I don't have one arrow to spare. Yep. Who's making all that noise? Shit. Alright, can't you go downstairs without going fucking clunk? <laughs> Apparently not. Wasting bloody water arrows. I do not want to be wasting water arrows. God, it's really like even that's did you notice how this on the second staircase I was crouched and going down and I still did the hop. It's a noisy hop. Should not happen. Carrot, you are a clumsy. Yeah. It's not valuable. Down to the same front three, right? What was that noise? <sighs> All right, don't fucking jump when you should be mandling. Lucky this guard is completely dead. Don't know how he didn't react to that jumping noise, but he didn't. Yeah, that's the same street. So... I don't know what I'm going to do about that face. the guard to come down and go downstairs and then I'll go up after him. Don't know if there's any darkness up there. 
Well, we just seem to go up a long way. Now he's coming. I set the timing with the lady coming through is... There she is. I think the girl's just about to come down. There he is. Thief. The ear project. Just trains you to listen and locate sounds in space. quick as I can because I don't have much time. Um, it's, you know, who knows if there's a secret across the hidden with that. I mean, come on, I've got to, I've got to practice my archery, that's a rule. Doesn't matter if I'm trying to be fast and stealthy, I've got to practice. Ugh, not a bullseye. I'm useless. Well, I can at least replace the, uh, I lost that. Hello. I wonder if this guard goes out there. What was that? Fucking hell. You know what? You are going to see. Nothing there. How did you not see me? I'm very grateful you didn't, but uh, I was right under the light then. Ooh. Okay, mechanism patrolling on top of that little tower here. Let's give me a decent view. We've got another open bedroom window, a couple of them actually. Or maybe get down onto that roof. Where's this guy go? I think we can't hear him anymore. Footsteps just cut out suddenly rather than that. <laughs> he didn't walk out onto that. I don't know what that metal walkway is good for, honestly. Yeah, it's all the metal up there. Okay, so I can go out that way. What is this good for? It lets me get on this roof, but I can't, I can't walk on this roof, can I? Oh, I can. It feels too steep, like it should be slippery. I mean, it is slightly slippery, but it's actually quite, quite, quite climbable. Well, they're not very good for jumping. So let's get here. <laughs> Which... Oh, hello. It's good because somebody left some money here, but otherwise it's inconsequential. <laughs> Alright, so we've got... These are the two open windows. I mean, I know we need to get into the mechanism, but the front door is definitely not going to be seen. I don't even have a fire arrow to destroy that security camera from here. Pretty home? Good. Key. What's this? Whose house is this and what is this key for? Seems odd. Does having a light on help me search for any hidden anything? Nope. Okay, problem. I was going to say problem is I want to get down to that other window, but you know what? I don't think that's a problem at all. I think I can just... I think I can just fail. Okay. Wow. The 
camera saw me. Wow, okay, the, the mechanist is, is super low. So the camera saw me. I had no idea the camera's vision went up this high. Alright. They can, they, can, they can hunt around down there, that's fine. Oh, maybe this is why the key. Indeed. And thoughtfully, it's uh, swallowed. <sighs> so that I don't need to worry about um, it cluttering my inventory anymore. Okay. So this series of pipes, I don't think, leads me to any... My god, that camera is super sensitive. Incredibly sensitive. Wow, everybody on the street is searching for me. Well, not, not, not drunk card. I guess, yeah, I mean, oh, hello, I should try and get up, up, up there, shouldn't I? What the hell? Yeah, my, my thoughts, exactly. I tried to, find you. I tried to drop quietly there, mate, but it didn't work. Can I mantle this so these bloody <laughs> things getting out get in the way? No, they're alright. <sighs> yeah, right. How the hell can you see me? <laughs> I guess I lost all my repairs. That's alright, I have three. <laughs> this ladder is really bad because this fucking. Oh my god. Because that ledge is way too narrow to mantle safely onto. <laughs> this is fine. This is, this is how wide mantleable ledges should be. Alright, anybody in here? Oh, got a tiny little hovel, right? <laughs> Where he's trying to hide his spice collection. Really tiny hovel here. Fully outfitted, and then he's got an extremely fancy door. That something's not right about that. All right, we can go up another level. I feel like the roof is probably the best way for us to get in. This place might have hello. Might have guards. Yeah, it sounds like it does have guards. Let's wait and watch for a bit. You know what? Give myself a better waiting and watching position. Why can't I pick up the sack to move it out of the way? Objects should be probable unless they're things that would be too heavy. I mean, I guess Thieves doesn't always follow that rule. It's got candlesticks that you can't pick up. What was that noise? 
my god, he's coming back. Uh, this room should be relatively safe from the guard. Number two. And another key. Hidden behind a power pot. I don't think I was looking there, is that? That is indeed the key for the chest. Well, you need to hide your keys better, mate. Whoops. See, if I was making this mission and it had the light switch, I would, I would script it so that it wakes him up. It would be, it would be probably inconvenient and annoying. But of course, you know, I'm full for flipping the light switch anyway just because it's there. Where's our guard friend? I thought he was downstairs. Although I guess there's a middle floor with the hammerite I haven't been to yet. chest. Well, oh, but he's got a key. Is this the door key? No. Number one. Number two. Is this not flat number one and number two then? Alright. God is coming back down. You left your mirror on the bed, dude. Oops, I closed the door in case he'd be suspicious, but I guess he's just waiting to see it in the dark. How much further down can he go? Is this the bottom floor? Thing where you open it just a bit so you can peek because it feels sneaky, even though, as far as the game's concerned, the door is now wide open. Uh... So, you know, if he was going to be suspicious of an open door, he would be suspicious of an ajar door just as much. That'd be a nice thing to hear. Uh... Uh, I don't really need. Mm. Odd noises. I'm gonna need to put your gas lamp out there, lady. Turn off your other lamp, unfortunately. I read this thing? Nope, it's not readable. Oh, hello. Are you are. Uh... Why do you have a water arrow? Under the counter. Makes no sense. Money box, yes. Baseball bats, sword, yes. Number four, alright, now these are the. I see, I see. We need to find number three, but we haven't been into number threes. These are the lock boxes for each of the Ooh, I can't even stand up there. <sighs> ah, that door should not be blocking noise. 
as well as it does. Oh, he's getting up. That's okay. Let's follow him up to number three. Which is the hammerite. Let's not be too hasty about it because we don't want to be in the light. Unclimbable stairs. Although these ones should be climbable. Because they're not that high, but maybe it's just because they don't. The run is so low. The angle is wrong. We don't want him to see us when we do this little bit like that. Hey. Hmm. There's nothing there now. Healing potion. You know what? I think I could use that. So, do you have a key for me? You know what? I'm gonna jump into your bed. You don't have a key for me. Do you keep a key by your bed? Perhaps by chance? Nay. Oh, you do have a key for me. Thank you. You may go now. I heard that. Stop right there. This is the thief equivalent of uh, Dishonored's Peak through the keyhole. Do you see how he doesn't... Look at him, look at him, look at that. He cheats. He doesn't even walk up to the top of the stairs, he flips halfway through it. Fuck what happened. No, I don't want to use the key on that. Exactly where our guard friend is, but I want to go up again. So we'll wait for him to start coming down here. Which he's just about to do now. Yes. Hammerite should be uh, calmed down now. Where does this take me? Metal ledge? So, it's nowhere. That's very, very odd. Although, I don't know if you save it for this because this could be waste. Hello? Well, oh, there's a ladder there. Can I reach it? Probably not, right? Not with this, not with this hour. I can reach it from the roof, it's probably the safer thing. Oh, God. Uh, can I get... Oh, hello. There's a ladder here. Alright. Oh, oh. Don't like it, but I'll take it. This must be the fire exit for these pumps. Oh. <sighs> I don't know if that's a rope getting in the way of my mantling or what. <laughs> be clinging about here. I 
coming or going? I have no idea. I'll do the go back up to the roof. Try and get my rope out from there. Meanwhile, oh, I didn't even read the job offer. You know what? I could read the job offer. But let's eat these apples and bread. What is the job offer? I'm looking for a professional to give me Lady Valeria's precursor mask. The mask is stored somewhere in the upper rooms of her mansion and is probably well hidden and heavily guarded. According to one of her former servants, Sheriff Truett himself is guarding the mask. Whatever that means. Come to my fence shop afterwards and your efforts shall be amply rewarded. Yes, Lady Valeria is as tough as a barrack. Alright. Steal a precursor mask and sell it to the local fence. That actually feels like something I should do, and I should have read that before because I am now a long way from Lady Valeria's mansion, which I think is that one I can see ahead of me there with the lighted window. That's the way I came from this. Oh, well, we'll have to go back. Maybe back across the rooftops is not too hard. And I didn't check out the astronomer's place either. Is he upstairs or downstairs? I don't see anything now. He's gotta be downstairs, right? Like, why am I waiting so long for him to come just up here? The wind, I guess. Yeah, just the wind. <sighs> swish, swish, swish of the wind. It's always just the wind. down with the rope rather than jump. In addition to all the other books, I do see a keeper book there. This is hot. So let's make sure that gets facing away before I move into the lights and take a slightly bigger look at this place. On top of your bookshelf? No, okay. I feel like that's all there is in this room. Alright. <laughs> Can I walk across this? I don't know. I don't want to find out just yet. Can I safely? <laughs> nope, I cannot safely. <laughs> Barely even safely that. I'm gonna need a more healing potions. <laughs> All right. And again, this if I try to mantle it, I basically go all the way over. It's ridiculously thin. Uh, well, that's why we save. Hey, hands up your head immediately starts shooting. It's like... Alright. Ah. I guess I could go on the roof, right? I guess I should. Maybe people leave money in their gold wine bottles in their windowsills. Can I make that? Can and silently. All right, back to Lady Gloria. We gotta find. This. Forget, forget the mechanists and their mechanical shenanigans. Is this Lady Gloria's? This was next door to Lady Gloria's, wasn't it? No, this was it. This this house here is Lady Gloria's. There's a guard that walks up and down these stairs. <sighs> I haven't been out that way yet. Who's making what all that noise? What the hell? What 
did you get? What did you even hear? Turn you up sooner. Probably just the wind. You know, me trying to go crouching silently down some steps that are much too tight. And so I made noise. Well, I guess in such a tiny level, I can, you know, I can give you a pass for making stairs that are too steep. I suppose it's fine. Should I have more healing potions? Look at that, I have a slow ball. I haven't used it. Also need a good place to use this this uh, to release my pet. Maybe release it in the mechanist so it'll uh, explode on some unwary mechanist. I'm waiting for I'm waiting up here for the guard to come back. I guess I can practice my archery some more. I definitely need to practice, right? There we are. Bullseye. So he's gonna come up here. And I think... Now that I actually have to search this place... I think I'm gonna try and knock him on the head. Don't come out here. Well, he's also got a cute match. <gasps> Rest. Rest there. Alright. Like, I'm going down at too fast a pace even while crouch walking. That's how steep those stairs are. Well, they're not actually make, making a lot of noise, but... Which is the level that lady comes in on this one, wasn't it? Yeah, because I hid down behind those beds. So let's wait for her to come down. Well, to see somewhere on the upper floors. Guarded by Truett himself. Why would the sheriff be guarding the thing? No, that's nonsense, dude. The sheriff might, you know, assign a couple of his best patrolman, sure, he might come and hobnob with the nobles. <coughs> sure. But he's not going to be guarding things himself. <clears throat> Curse and mask, upper levels. I mean, this is the upper floor. There isn't another higher up. <laughs> Unless there's a way in via like the freaking chimneys, which would be super weird. Grab that, can you? It was nothing. Just 
Houses Creek, you know. Well, if you will come and investigate your house making strange noises, that's too bad. Seeing as I've started, is someone there? Uh. Let's just let's just make this place nice and safe for, for our explorations. I want to check out, see if there's anything funny about this painting. Probably isn't, right? Oh, there is. What did that open? How does anybody reach that? You'd have to get like three servants to stand on each other's shoulders. Reach it. Let's start open. Can't see. I heard something moving. Can't see anything. I haven't actually been in this room yet. Oh, yes, I did briefly. see. <laughs> ghost mask, alright. Um, I've got silt pants. Alright. That's the most inconvenient secret switch ever. It's like, there's no way you could use this secret switch without uh, revealing to people the existence of your secret compartment because it's so convoluted to get to it. All right, close up again. Sorry people, but Ah, uh... oh, my arrows don't stick in that chain. Okay. Where to now? Okay, I could go back the, across the way I just came. I haven't finished exploring up there, so it's one option. Otherwise, I can come around the trunk around this side. This. Clang. I feel like this beam sticking out is going to get in my way if I try and just do a straight jump. <laughs> oh, hello. Somebody runs a gambling establishment and forgot to clean up their, uh, their bets. What, what a shame. Just about to accuse this poor person of having nothing worth stealing, but uh, 
Luckily for me, luckily for them, they did. Well, I guess luckily for me, really. Yeah. No! Yep, good work, Garrett, good work. There's a rope, Garrett. You know what to do with ropes? You grab onto them. You don't just watch them as you plummet past your death. <laughs> I thought by now you'd know how to use a rope, Eric, Garrett. I suppose the problem with being a master thief is you're uh, so good at. Just a little non plus there. Firstly, by not dying to the fall. Secondly, by the thief completely not reacting to me. Thirdly, by trying to retreat to darkness and hearing a few yells, and then the sudden the yells disappeared, and then everybody was in my face. Uh, put me slightly by surprise. Let's try that again. Better. It does feel like those people are about to have a conversation. Sir, would you mind turning your lights off for me? <gasps> Who made that noise? Nobody. Uh, these old buildings make too much noise. <laughs> Thing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Something about him. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, I guess this is kind of a dead end. Alright, oh, now, so what I'm seeing now is the mechanist place extends right to that wall. So, you know what? Let's. Not do that. Let's go back around the other side. <sighs> unfortunate means, I was gonna say, unfortunate means making a big clanging noise, but somehow not. <sighs> Some way in by the chimney, he says. Foolishly, I mean, why would why would Garrett want to come down the chimney? He's not Santa. He's not coming to give presents. He's coming to take all the presents away. So little health that I'm not going to take that. Okay, I wanted to get back up there and I've forgotten how I did it. All oh, right, I did it from the lower area. But let's try getting on this roof. So if you get on the roof, I can then get on the top of this window. Look behind you, surprise! Sabotage in Eastport is very much uh, gravitational attraction in Eastport. Ah! 
and try and reposition my footing and fall off because the ledge is so tiny. Uh, there we are. Yeah. Do better this time. Maybe I can fall onto my rope. Or maybe not. Because this roof is too steep, so it is slippery, so I can't can't probably jump from it. I can't probably die from it. That's 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 very clear. Death, death's fine. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> right. So, what I just realised is the ladder I was exploring is actually at the end of this. Just almost falls off. Oh, there's a ladder here too. Okay. The apartment building. Does it have a street door? Someone make a noise? You coming or going, mate? Mm. Noise, stop! Guess it was nothing. Something. Oh, he's, he's fucking stuck. Just the wind, I guess. Uh, That's a problem. What am I going to do about that? I mean, I suppose... I can ignore him. I could do a quick, load, quick save, quick load too, which almost certainly unstick him. But he's fine there for the moment, you know? He wants to just cramp on the spot and let him. You don't have a street door, that's annoying. I wanted to get up to the street. I wasted a water arrow for it. Guess I should have got the guy unstuck. None of you guys have openable windows, no. Well, still got eight arrows. I can still take out four iron beasts if I'm careful. Let's try and get him unstuck. No. Well, if he won't unstick, what am I gonna do? Ignore him, I suppose. There's always an option. Okay, so what... Do I have a safe way down to the streets from up here? I really don't, do I? Although I've not been here before. Dice and cards. Lots of gambling going on. You know what? I think we'll come back for the fence later. Right now, end the episode here, and then we'll infiltrate. We'll intrude upon these mechanists. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you here for the next episode.